Hi everybody, Rose here. All right, um, I'm in the middle of a couple of different things, but I really wanted to get these up. Um, I'm making some of these for work just for fun. So what it is, is we're going to be crocheting this. And then we can do so much with it. This is what I'm doing with it. I'm making little spookies. So what you're gonna need is, I'm just gonna use some Red Heart Super Saver uh, four ply. Uh, you're gonna need a eye, 5.5 millimeter. And of course your scissors and tapestry. Um, these are, I got these at the Dollar Tree, those spider rings, and I just cut off the back bits. And these were some bats, bat rings. I didn't see the spider ones today at the Dollar Tree, but I did pick these bat ones up. Um, I also had these skulls, but I thought it might be too, too scary for, you know, dogs. So I'm not going to put those on there. Um, you're also going to need, as an option, uh, some gems. Um, this will be in a haul also. Hobby Lobby is having this week 66% uh, off their fall items. Um, you could also use like pearls and any type of flat back, any of these gems here. You know, the, the diamond ones. The diamond ones. And you will also need a hot glue gun or some type of adhesive that you want to use. Go ahead and gather your supplies and I will meet you right back here. Alrighty. So we're going to make this bigger one. Let's start with a slip knot. I do the pretzel. Looks like a pretzel. And we're going to chain 13. So yarn over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. So here is our loop and it's going through this first chain and then this is the second chain and that's what we're going to be going into. So I got my fingers on it. I'm ready to go. I'm going to yarn over and we're going to do a double crochet in here. So we're going to go in there when that top loop, go through, grab your yarn, pull it up. Yarn over, go through two, yarn over, and go through two. We made our first double crochet. Now let's do three more double crochets in the next three stitches. So we'll find that next chain. And I'm just going in that top loop. Go in there and do a double crochet. Okay. And then we're going to do another double crochet in each of the next stitch. This will be the third. And then this is the last one. Okay. In this next stitch, we're gonna do a half double crochet. And we're gonna yarn over. We're gonna go in that top loop we're going to pull up our yarn, we've got our three loops, yarn over and go through all three. In the next two stitches, we're going to put one single crochet in each. So we're just going to go right in there, and grab our yarn and pull up, 
yarn over and pull through. Next one, single crochet. pull through. And now we're repeating. In this next stitch we're going to do a half double crochet. So yarn over and go in there, pull up. We have our three loops, yarn over and go through all three loops. And we should have four stitches left and we're going to put one double crochet in each of those. So let's yarn over. I'm going to pull up, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. And then we're just going to finish this out. There's our second double crochet, and our third double crochet, and then our last. Let's go ahead and just chain one just to get that down. And that is the beginning of it. And that's what we're going to be repeating. So we did our chain one. We're going to turn. And then we're going to repeat it. We're just using that chain one to get us around. And we're going to go straight into. Okay, this is the chain one right here. This is the actual last stitch. That's what we're going to be going into. So we're going to yarn over, go right in there, and grab our loop and pull up. We're going to yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Okay. Now in the next three stitches, one double crochet. So this is technically the second double crochet. Next one is our third double crochet, and then our last double crochet. Four double crochets. The next stitch is a half double crochet. And then we have one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. Just go straight in there, go straight in there. And the next and we're just repeating it now we're going to do a half double crochet in the next and then we're going to do one double crochet in the next four stitches one two three and four chain one and turn and that's what you're going to do we're going to do this for a total of four rows so if these are the first two you're going to do four double crochets half double crochet single single half four double crochets chain one turn and when you get at the end of your fourth one I'll meet you back Just remember when we start getting to that last stitch and we have that chain one right there it looks like a bit of a mess but just turn it a little bit and that top of that last stitch will reveal itself to you and honestly if you missed it and just went into that chain one it doesn't matter okay last row no surprise but I stumbled on this by accident last week. I was just doing um, like a double crochet straight across. And then you know how it goes with me. All right. Let's just see what that looks like now. Okay, so this one's at like four inches by two and three quarters by two inches. 
and now I'm just going to chain one, do my finger length, and snip off. And that's that. Let's go ahead and sew in these ends real quick. And since I'm making these for dogs and they're going to last about 30 seconds <laughs> around their neck, I'm not going to overkill on this. And I got a story about overkill and I'll save the stories for later at the end of the video. Just going to grab in there and just do one snip. gonna cut through that double crochet and pull it through and there's that okay doesn't matter which side and so there's that part now what I'm gonna show you real quick also is how to make um, if you want to add the little tiny one for layering and I'm going to have to do it in orange because black won't show up. So we're going to still go ahead and use the eye hook. And the small one, it's basically still the same concept. We're just going to use different stitches. Go ahead and do a slip knot. And let's chain nine. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. This is bonus. All right. So again, there's our loop on our hook. This is technically the first stitch. We're going to go in that second stitch. And we're going to start with a half double crochet. So we're going to just yarn over, go in there, grab our yarn. Yarn over all three. So we're going to do three half double crochets. There's one, two, and three. There's two. Three. Then we're going to do a single crochet in the next two stitches. And then we're going to finish on the last three stitches with three half double crochets. So it still gives us that little, you know, this, this bit here. It's very subtle. Chain one and turn. So like I said, it's a chain nine. And so we're going to have eight working stitches. It'll be three half double crochets, a single, a single, and three half double crochets. Do another row here. Half double crochet. There's number two and number three. I know this is a little bit fast, but we just did this one, so I'm not going to dawdle on this. Do a single crochet in the next two stitches. One, two, and then we're going to do one half double crochet in the last three stitches. One, two, three. And that's it. Okay. Let's do our finger length again. Get rid of that. All right, now let's go ahead and just quickly get rid of, and this is a cheat, I'm just going to grab it and pull it through, just picking up any stitches that's on the back, grab it and pull it through, let me get rid of those. There'll be another time that we can dawdle on little things like that, but Halloween's in like two days, I'm going to get this going. All right, let's see. Now that we've got this, we've got this. 
This is going to look weird if I do an orange on orange. Do I have a black one? That's funny, I didn't even do all the rows on that. Alrighty. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some yarn. And we don't need much. I'm going to probably do about a foot. And then I guess I'm going to have to do this one. Nope, I got a little black one. And I'm just going to set it in there. And for now, I'm just going to take a little dab of glue. Put it right there just to hold this down. And then I'm going to just tie this. Oops. And this is a little tip too. I don't know if you guys, you guys probably already know it, but like you're doing a square knot where you would just go under once. If you just go under it again, it will, it will immediately just hold without coming undone. Ready? It just holds. And that's really all I wanted to do is I just want to tie it on there. I'm going to do that a little tight, see what that looks like. Yeah, I guess I didn't really need all this yarn. I'm going to go ahead and do one more square knot and then I'm going to cut it off. And this is optional if you want to glue that down. I think I'm going to leave it. And now, what do we want to put on here? And now I think I'm going to glue this big old spider. And you can do it either way. I think I will go down, go down on that one. And go in the back here, just glue it on. What did I say? Down. That way these things aren't gonna poke anybody. love it. Now to tie this on, you can do, um, I've got some um, elastic. Dollar Tree has elastic and it's going to be nine yards and it looks like it's that quarter inch. So you could use this too. Um, got this, I don't know where. So yeah, I'm just going to cut a piece of, and you can use ribbon. You can do a long chain and tie it on and then tie it around them and attach it however you want. I'm gonna leave it because I know we'll, we're gonna, um, I'm just probably gonna use that elastic. I have all this elastic I'm trying to use up. It's like eighth of an inch. It's not good for really much of anything. So I'm gonna use it on this. So yeah, this is the one I did just double crochets all the way and then I cinched it down. So just to show you, it doesn't really matter if you do like this or not, because you can just, if you're gonna just tie it anyway, it'll still produce what you need. And then you can just have fun with it. Just put whatever. I was thinking about getting using some of these um, some of these big gems, let's find somebody, and just gluing those things on there. I've got some fall ones too. I was gonna just glue on there. All right, it's a quick project. 
I'm going to get this edited super fast and then get it up to you so you guys can be working on it while I'm filming uh, my haul and I'm working on something else for you, that hat. Okay? I hope you guys are doing great and I will just see you here soon. Bye.